So guys, today we've got the best 11 from the Stuttgart career mode. Um, the goalkeeper is, um, well, I should probably start with formation first. Um, it's the 4-4-1-1, but instead of two centre mids, it's a centre mid and a CDM. And y you know who the CDM is now. Um, we haven't really had one in the whole career, so of course you know who that is. But I will explain anyway when we get to that player. Um, but the goalkeeper is Shawless. Um, he was reliable, definitely um, consistently good. Um, good at saving penalties as well, like very good at it. Um, and he he was the backup goalkeeper for Onana, I believe. And then we sold Onan and Shawless just became the number one. It's like with Brown Forbes in the quarter career, he got the best goalkeeper from the career when he was once back up. Um, so yeah, same with Shawless here. He was back up, came into the team, did fairly well. And yeah, Shawless goalkeeper. Left back, I've gone with Alfonso Davies. Like... He was our left back for most of the career mode, I'd say. Um, definitely the left back we had for the longest time. We never really had a standout left back. Um, it's not like um, not like Crawley where we had Dos Santos and he was just a very good left back. So. Um, yeah, Davies left back, but not really that good. He was good at running up here. He had pace, so he could run up the left wing and put it across and occasionally scored. Um, but not not a great left back in the career mode, but the best we had. Um, Zalit was uh, one of the centre backs. Uh, rock solid defender. Um, good header of the ball. Scored a lot from corners. Um and just no nonsense was never afraid to put in a tackle got a few cards like yellow cards and occasionally red cards um and yeah he's just no nonsense defender very good from Delit. and the other centre back is Upa Meccano um very good at tackling and just a strong player and went very well next to Matthias Delit. Right back is Trent Alexander Arnold, so the whole back four is real players, there's no youth players. Um like we didn't never really had many outstanding youth players. Of course we had Wagner in this career mode, but other than that, n no real standout ones. I mean Shawless good goalkeeper and gets the best goalkeeper of this career. But yeah. Shawless and Wagner are only really, the only really two good ones that came through our youth academy. And I think that probably was because we started in the Bundesliga, not the lower league, so we needed good players to start with. We You can't just, like, like in Crawley and Barrow, we started in League 2, so we could go with youth players who are normally already at, like, high 50s, low 60s, which is okay for League 2. Um, but then in the Bundesliga, you've got to get players that are, like, 72 rating that's probably a bit low you might need like 77s or something um but still i want a good team in the bundesliga so we could get a few players in but yeah not many youth players in this but that's besides the point i'm getting off track here um trent is the right back good at set pieces like not good at penalties but corners and free kicks he was the taker for all of them and it, very good crosser. I mean, De Litt wouldn't have scored as many headers as he did if it wasn't for Trent. Um, and Trent's amazing balls into the box. Uh, left mids is a controversial one. I've gone for Kula Bali. Tanky Kula Bali, the left mid. Um, I could have gone with Pedri or Barbosa Ferreira. But. I think Koulibaly does it like Pedri and Barbosa Ferreira are both right footed 
and they both just didn't work at left mid. Like Koulibaly was a good crosser and left footed, so he never had to turn before putting in a cross. He could put in a cross straight away, and someone could tap in the cross. I do regret selling him. He was a very good left mid for us, and yeah, I do regret selling him because I think he was the best left mid we had in this career mode. And he, he could occasionally score like his best performance was definitely that um Champions League quarter final against Barcelona not Barcelona, Bayern Munich, um where we won two one on aggregate Koulibaly scoring in the first leg, eighty fourth minute in a one nil win. Maybe it was eighty first or something. And then like another mid eighty minute goal. And a very good goal um, in the second leg to to get us through. So yeah, Koulibaly is definitely the best left left mid we had, and I regret selling him. Uh, Centre mid Jude Bellingham, uh, very good at long shots um, and good at passing the ball around. And if he got a chance in the box, like he'd normally take a first time shot and put it in the back of the net. Just a very good midfielder, and just what you expect from a midfielder, and just a little bit more, I think. He was, he is probably the best midfielder we had in FIFA 21. I'll do another video after the best team from Barracuda of the best FIFA 21 team of all three career modes combined. Um, when I finished these three. Of Crawley, Stuttgart, and Barrow. Um, yeah, Bellingham would probably get in that team. Um, he was just a very good midfielder and could bop up with a goal or two. Um, and CDM De Souza Pereira, only CDM we had, and was very good. Like intercepted a lot of passes, um, protected the defense well if they needed it. Like our defense was mostly very solid, um, but De Souza Pereira was always there if. For whatever reason, Delit or Upamecano made a mistake. Um, so yeah, right mids. I've gone for Mason Greenwood. Apart from season one, he was just our right mid for the whole career mode. So no real other choice, and a good value for being our right mid. He was both footed. He could use right left foot easily. So. I could either cross in on his right foot or cut in and take a shot on his left so lots of options to do with him and was very good at shooting on his left foot because like he he could be a striker I think I played him at strike in like two games or something and he scored in them I think um, so yeah he's got a very good shot on him and yeah Greenwood right mid and centre attacking midfield do I even need to say this? You know who it is. Patrick Wagner. Um, just words can't describe how good he was. Like, his... He, he's not a striker. And he scored so many goals. Like, when I was playing with him, like, I wanted him... Like... Because at the end of every season we did like team development, like play development on our team this season thingy, um, seeing at all goal contributions and stuff. And I always wanted Wagner to get more goal contributions than appearances, um, and most of the time he did do that, or at least got very close. Um, and he he is just an incredible player. The chip through balls he could do to the striker to finish off were incredible. The defence never saw them coming. They are always facing him. He could have like four men around him just chip it over them. And then Isaac is in one on one. And normally he'd score. And that puts us very nicely onto the striker who is Isaac of this career mode. And just reliable source of goals. Um, Wagner, Greenwood's... Could Barley could set him up well, and he would score. Um, 
and just very reliable like scored probably more than a goal every two games on average so very reliable source of goals for us and that is the whole team so the team altogether is goalkeeper shortlist back for Alfonso Davies, Matthias Tillet, Upa Meccano and Trent Alexander-Arnold and midfield four is uh, Koulibaly, Bellingham, D'Souza Pereira at CDM, Greenwood right mid, Ragnar at Cam, and then Isaac up front. That's in this video. Goodbye.